Hello my lovely friends, it's Tuesday and I am bringing you a layout for the Crafty Maven Getaway and I chose to technique it and so I am going to do some mixed media. I haven't done mixed media in probably a month or so. I don't know why, I just kind of took a break from it as I do and I've been focused on embellishing with new goodies from the shop and just enjoying some of my stash and I'm excited to do this mixed media. <laughs> I'm super excited and I think it turned out so cute. So our focus this month in November is for stamps and so I pulled the Cheeky Studio Wildflower stamps and some Heidi Swap stamps and some black archival ink and I I'm so excited about how well this stamped out. I just used some close to my heart white cardstock. It's their uh, basic 12 by 12 and it's ultra smooth and it just stamps beautifully. I could have had um, a juicier ink pad, but I didn't. And so um, I'm really impressed with how well it stamped between the quality of the stamps and the paper i think that's how i got away with it <laughs> so i'm not gonna make you watch me do this entire fussy cut of all of this but i do fussy cut it all out and i do use the majority of it and so um i just think that the combination of it being stamped with the black ink and if you use archival ink it's not going to smear when you add watercolors to it which is what I'm gonna do after I fussy cut these out and as you saw I originally gessoed the background of another 12 by 12 of that same cardstock that I'm gonna use as my background paper for the layout guys for I, there's some sort of delay on my recording um, I do apologize for my voice I'm hopefully on the mend. I finally went to the doctor and got on a bunch of meds. And so um, I'm actually able to breathe a little better and I can pretty much narrate a video without having to stop and cough through the, the interims. <laughs> so um, hopefully I will be all well. I'm going to a large crop this weekend where Cheeky is going to vend and I'm super excited. If you haven't heard about the KISS crop in Grove, Oklahoma, they do it, I believe, twice a year. Maybe it's just once a year, but uh, I definitely heard about it from a Kiwi Lane consultant, and she said it's a fantastic group of women, and there's about 400 women. They take over the entire hotel, and the banquet room and it's just super super fun so I wanted to make sure Cheeky Studio was there and we're taking a lot of product and so hopefully we will sell a lot of product and we also have some other crops and things scheduled um, a couple of trade shows and expos so we're trying to get out there more um, with that being said Crafty Maven Getaway does have a Facebook group that uh, you can join and they do lots of fun shares over there some of the videos that get posted people you may not follow um, or know about and it's a great group of ladies as well and they have a lot of fun on their blog so there is a crafty maven getaway blog which i will have the information on the facebook group and the blog and uh, all of the challenges they do and things like that are listed there so i'm going to have those in the description bar below so make sure you check them out and join the group so as you can see i just fussy cut those out i like that little one that says love and it's very dainty and i like little dainty things um, I actually met this wonderful jewelry maker the other day and she has little teeny tiny sterling silver jewelry and I'm super excited to buy some goodies from her because that is so me. <laughs> I love the little little dainty jewelry. So dainty stamps are my friends too. I, I cannot resist dainty things. 
I don't know why Bab is so big, but give me little teeny tiny stuff and I'm just in heaven. I don't know what it is. True's that way too, so it seems to just be, um, maybe it's a genetic thing. I don't know. <laughs> so I reached into my shimmers and I grabbed some Glorious Day, some Princess, and some Pop Art Pink. Those are all vibes and they are in the shop over at Cheeky if you want to grab some. I do usually make sure that I either dry each layer before I add to it or at least use a little bit of a paper towel to soak up some of the color because it will turn to mud if you don't. So um, this particular mixed media, I love how it turned out. I just add a little bit of that purple, like I just use um, the, the color princess. I just use some little splatters of it. So I don't want it to be, I didn't want it to look with that um, gold and a little bit of the orange hue and that pink with the gold glimmer. I didn't want it to look Halloween-y. And I think I, you know, made that work. I also grabbed the um, Autumn Beauty number no. 8 paper from Cheeky. And I think it matches wonderfully to the background and I'm going to trim my edges and just tape that down so that it's got a little bit of an edge of that cream. <clears throat> it's kind of a cream color with some hints of orange and purple so and pink, so that works out perfect. <laughs> and I'm also going to use the inside of that. I didn't want to waste a whole sheet because I just love that paper. So... Um, I went ahead and gutted it and I'm going to use another piece of it to back the photos. I also had some scraps in my stash of just some plain pink cardstock and um, that green, I believe it's a, a plaid, is from an old Studio Calico here in their collection. And I want to say, well I don't use the brown and white polka dot. I didn't think it went well, so, but I want to say that's an old Maggie Holmes. So these are just pictures of me and Bab, and we were in San Fran, and they had this lovely bouquet of flowers in the lobby. This is a historic downtown um, hotel that was from the 1920s, I believe. So they just had some gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous decor and the aesthetic was wonderful so I wanted to make sure that we got some selfies in front of that I can't resist a good selfie with flowers <laughs> and I really like the earrings I was wearing I need to find those I'm I'm curious what I did with them so talking about jewelry so I'm just gonna back these photos real quick one is just a little bit smaller than the other and I do like to do that if I'm going to have multiple photos on a layout. I think it adds more movement to the page so when you're looking at the layout it, it just kind of entices your eye to move through the photos and look at the photos so that's my intention for the different size of photos. It can be very generic and, and standoffish when it's two photos the same size. I know we can't all print our own photos and change the size, but uh, usually if it's just a bunch of four by sixes or something I've had printed off, I will go and uh, trim some of that off and maybe use some white cardstock as a border and that way I can change the size. Or I'll just do one photo so that I, or I'll, I'll tuck one underneath another one, something like that to make it look like they are different sizes. So here I'm just taking some of those stamped images and I'm going to start adding some color to the background. I don't know why I glued down my, or score taped, down my photos first, but I did. <laughs> Not very smart. I wouldn't suggest doing that. It's a good way to get your photos wet. <clears throat> but for whatever reason, I did it that way. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with some paper towel and dab it up as I go and that way I do not ruin my photos. Plus I pop them up a little bit. They, they didn't get wet. I got lucky actually. <laughs> 
the uh, cheap artist loft watercolors they're kind of chalky and I know that they I've probably said this a dozen times I they're like four dollars for the entire palette and they are some of my favorite watercolors I just love the way they come out um, if I was doing a painting or you know um, trying to fill in a drawing or something I would not use these watercolors because they are kind of chalky and of course they're student grade and so I would use something much better and pigmented but for this for layouts I love it some of my fave so shimmers uh, Lindsay stamp gang I really like Heidi swap I like all those kind of inks but um, for watercolor I usually go with these little cheap artist loft so I did want to make sure that I added some of the dark leaves there so that's one reason why um, when I created the stamps I did some that were solid and some that were outlined because I think that it's nice to be able to do a, a balance of darks and lights. so I could you know you have a so you have some solid flowers and leaves and then you have some outlined flowers and leaves and so I think that the black that I used for the leaf ties in the black that is on the outlines and the little hearts are very cute I think those are adorable they're kind of cut in half or diagonal however you want to look at it <laughs> and so half of it is black and the other half is just white so I colored that with my artist loft and then the only U was from the Heidi Swap set, and I ended up fussy cutting and coloring that. Now, the Crafty Maven Getaway does like to ask questions, and so I wanted to go ahead and pose those questions to you, and it's, a, it's really good, and it's something to think about, because when you're preparing for a bigger project, you know, we all have certain projects that we want to accomplish in our scrap rooms, like vacation albums, day in the life, December daily, or school albums. So uh, we're curious over at the Crafty Maven, how you, how do you prepare for these projects? Um, leave your comments in the um, comment section. I would love to hear from you. So how do you prepare for some of the bigger projects that you do? Do you exclusively work on these projects until they're done? So from start to finish, or do you scrapbook normal layouts while working on bigger projects? Um, you know, do you, do you just have several things going on at once or do you just focus on those? So, you know, uh, let us know because we're curious. Um, I've thought about this and I usually have to have more than one thing going. I can't just have, you know, one focus only so if you watch my channel on a regular basis it is a little bit of emptying my stash it is a little bit it, I've got a series right now called the empty box series um, where I'm just using up stash I also have these studio layouts that I'm just using that product and then I have my design team layouts that I use for other projects so I kind of have a mix going all the time but let us know in the comments below what you like to do so that's it for now these are the close-ups and i appreciate you watching uh, remember to like and subscribe and to go over to the crafty maven getaway facebook group sign up there and also the cheeky studio group on facebook so ta-ta for now bye